Well, he's married to the world famous Betty Boop. She was what a lucky guy. So in love, I might make you puke. She's the apple of his eye. So sit right down, we're gonna give you the scoop with Ryan Pfeiffer and Lisa Duke. Shamma lamma ding dong loop de loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I'm gonna do some <laughs> editing trickery there and put that at the beginning. <laughs> um you're listening to being mr boop everything's coming up millhouse my name is ryan pfeiffer and i am mr boop my name is lisa doop and i am mr boop uh my name is adam cat scratch and i am mr doop adam's cat scratch is here did you hear that adam cat scratch <laughs> that theme oh song God. before the episode started that was him and he he, he did re-recorded that. the theme song for his special appearance. <laughs> Don't make him do that. <laughs> um, yeah, Adam, okay, okay, welcome to the podcast. What is your relationship with Mr. Boop? Uh, I uh, was in a threesome with Mr. <laughs> Boop and his lovely wife, Betty Boop, sometime in uh, August of last year. Yeah. Uh, we had a great time. Who hasn't uh, been? Stayed in touch. Yeah, we we yeah. skip the parts so that we all know. <laughs> <laughs> what is your relationship with the with the comic strip? Oh, with the comic strip, um, I like it. I love it. Ooh. How are you? What is, okay, what's your what is your history with the comic strip? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, my <laughs> all right, my history is I had never heard of it until uh, I was asked to do a theme song. For a podcast called "Being Mr. Boop," <laughs> what the what the heck? That Another sounds, one? Wait, that's what? That's the name of our podcast, Adam. Adam we are doing multiple. You're music, doing theme songs for multiple podcasts named "Being Mr. You, Boop." Yeah, it's my niche. It's you know, there's, <laughs> you know, once one of you them can, you know finds out that that's the work, the medium I'm working in, you know, that they just keep knocking can, on my door. You have an experience. Uh, you have you have you have a history of writing. Uh, theme songs for podcasts you did all uh, a bunch of theme songs fan submitted theme songs for being Jim davis which is why we got you for this because you you've done you did all the best theme songs for being Jim davis i'm trying to remember oh, i'm trying few, to remember right. which ones, ones are others. yours but it's it's kind of hard to remember because they're all so different and they're mm. like so it's kind of hard to tell like which ones are yours um i think where's lyman is that one yours Oh yeah, where's, where's that Lyman? one was fun. Um, I think you had that one was far too long. <laughs> Why did that to everybody? I think you had one about the uh, the drinks roundup, or is that someone else? No, that was uh, that was um, Kendall Hallman. Oh okay, very really good uh, harm at vocal harmonies. <laughs> turns out, which other ones did you do? Um, I believe I did. One called Barfield Starfield Galactica, who I just did like a bunch of like. Oh yeah, then the, yeah, like, like like I like the intro. It was like it was the intro to like a Saturday morning cartoon. Girl, my lips are sealed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. No. Uh, so I had a a couple of years ago. Most of those were written in like the same week because <laughs> I was like living in a cabin in the woods and I was very depressed and it was and it was like completely snowed in. And uh, I well, just, you like, <laughs> you had to yeah. hunker down and to get all those uh, theme songs out. You're like, let me yeah, isolate exactly. myself like, until I have all of yeah. these theme songs done. You you were yeah, like it Trout Moss, me. Trout Moss replica style. You got all your band members of the Adam Cat Scratch band, locked them all in that room, and abused them oh, until yeah, they I... came out with Ford. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gothels. I dangled the bass player. I can out only the imagine what the process was like for the for the being Mr. Boop theme song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. No, we went in the, we speaking of the being with that one. Speaking of the being Mr. Boop theme song, Adam, what are the lyrics? That's I was exactly what I was about to say. Now that we have him on the podcast, we can we can we can find out officially what the lyrics are. You don't know. We debated no, on it. We, we both debated, have different ideas. We debated this for a, a, for a while ago, and we uh, we we came to an understanding. We were pretty sure we we figured out exactly what it was. Uh, thanks to thanks to our guest Cadence. Um, I'm still not convinced. 
No, what do when you mean? Did we, you we, did, we decided the same thing. No, okay, I can't remember exactly what we were thinking, but um, it, we we had different ideas of what it was. Wait, okay, so it's it, it, it's the first part. It's like it's uh, so I was saying is like w- welcome to the land of Betty Boop or something. What at Lisa? What did you think it was? <laughs> I thought it was welcome to the world of Mister Boop. No, okay. Oh, that's what you thought it was, and I thought no, it wait, was... it, I know I. Wait, I thought I think it was world famous Miss Betty Boop. You thought it was something like right. that, and I and I thought it was like something like about this is a man, or or no, it was ah oh, I can't even remember what I what I thought it was like. This is a, welcome to the, oh man I can't remember. <laughs> Let's see, you know what I can uh I can settle this right now. I'll teach you how to play this theme song. <laughs> oh boy! All right. Oh, hang There's on. There's only three chords in it. I think I I found. Oh no! I found. I sorry. I didn't find. What Did you find we... the, guitar, uh, the ultimate guitar lyric sheet? The what? Hmm? The ultimate guitar tablature. Oh my god! Is it on there? No. I mean, what? I... I was like, we well, added the being Mr. Boop to tab. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I thought it was Welcome to the World of Betty Boop. She lives with a lucky guy. And Lisa thought it was Wed to the World Famous Betty Boop. Gee whiz, one Not lucky wed... guy. Yeah, Wed to Lisa's, the World. Yeah. Lisa's much closer. And and uh, Sophia said Blah Blah World Famous Betty Boop. Gee whiz, our lucky guy. And. Yeah. Cadence said, well, he's married to the world-famous Betty Boop. Gee whiz, what a lucky guy. That's it. That's yeah, one. Cadence got it, yeah. When we heard their suggestion, I was like, okay. Yeah, that that's probably right. <laughs> he's so in love, it might make you puke. She's the apple of his eye. So sit right down, we're going to give you the scoop. With Ryan Pfeiffer and Lisa Dupe. Shame a ding dong, loop de loop. This is the story of a guy named Mr. Boop. Okay, yeah. We we the, the rest of that was was pretty clear. I think because I think it the the instrumental it, 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 I don't know, it kinda ding dong loop de loop was in the confusion, but just yeah. he's Well this just sounds Yeah Uh I don't know, it's kinda I don't know, it, the way it comes out, it's kinda it's kinda hard to tell exactly what it is. It's like it's on everybody. Whoop. <laughs> Gotta keep them guessing, and then if you play it backwards, you hear the uh, satanic messages too. Well, we yeah, can't give yeah, away yeah, everything. I've been, I've, I've been adding right, those to some out. episodes. <laughs> I've been adding more. You've been adding more. I I believe that <laughs> honestly. It's you keep true, using the like, the full. I I've heard you using the full theme song as the end, the credits too. Yeah, it's more common than me using the the demo version. I like the. It's, not, like a, the it's not a demo version. It's the shorter version. It's the credits music. Yeah, I. Yeah, apologies for uh, never getting you an instrumental version. No, that's okay. We managed. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a tra- there was a tragic happening. Oh, man. That's Family sad. emergency, you see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wait. What uh, did we? What if, what's happening? <laughs> You had, to, are... you had to trade the instrumental for. Uh... What's happening <laughs> is I that it's trade Mon- the instrumental to the devil for my amazing ukulele. Yes, playing yeah, exactly. Oh, wait, quickly, what are the co- what are the chords? What are the two chords it uses? Oh, it's it's just G, A, D, G A. Nice. Um, Lisa, Adam, it's. August 24th, 2020. Today we're reading the 154th 51st ever Mr. Boop strip. What happens in today's Mr. Boop? In today's Mr. Boop? Ack, ack, ack. <clears throat> that's that's a Popeye noise. That's not right. But wait, wait, what is that? Ack? Ack? What, who, what is that I hear? Is that, is, that, is that Kathy? Could it be? Could it be Kathy from the comic strip Kathy? Oh my goodness. Uh, panel one of four that sounds much that's just Popeye is that how you read Ka- when you're reading Kathy you, and she I've starts saying Ack, you're like Ack, 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 Ack. I've never read Kathy 
Come on. All right. You know what? I'm going to read Kathy's strip real quick here. What is what is today's Kathy? Just to get just to I get never her. Heard read it out loud. Is Kathy still being made? Oh, surely. Wait. OK. No, I don't know. I, I thought that was. <laughs> um, no, OK. Like it's it not. It ended, in, it ended in 2010, a year before she got a divorce. Um, That's sad. But I'm OK. I'll I'm going to read it. A year before Kathy got a divorce? Kathy, Kathy, the author of the comic strip, Kathy got a divorce. Oh, um, that's oh, she, it's about I, her. I guess it's in reruns she now. Is Kathy? Yeah, the, the author of Kathy is Kathy. All right, I pulled up a uh, random. The um, the the Wikipedia image for Kathy is is Kathy at an old wedding altar with her, what I presume is her husband, which mm. is, feels very ironic considering that they got divorced. Uh, it's like tragic well, it's irony. Like, it's though. just like Mr. Boop. Um, I p- pulled up a random Kathy here. Kathy says, I want office clothes that announce that I'm a serious professional. Electro point. Uh, and I think that's... Oh, that's a clerk at the clothes store she's at. Much more detailed background than most Mr. Boops. The clerk says, clothes don't do that anymore. All announcing is up to you. Panel two, Kathy says, I have enough to do. I need clothes that will do some of the work for me. Electro point. The clerk responds, clothes aren't really into working. She's holding up like a dress. And a close-up of Kathy, panel three, she says, she, she's sweating and expressing. She says, I refuse to invest more money in clothes that look like they're waiting for a party. Electro point. I need clothes that can take some responsibility. Two electro points. Uh, final panel is just the the clerk's kind of looking looking forward and folding her arms, and she said, and she thinks, women's fashions formerly unsellable now unemployable. I don't know what any of that means, um, but there you yeah. go. That's how a Kathy. <laughs> wait, wait. When did they say get She didn't say ak in that one, so that was maybe. A Why bad did example. you read it? What? <laughs> you should have read ahead. <laughs> All right. I'll find a panel where she does act. She doesn't actually. Anyway. She doesn't actually act that much. Um, it's kind of like with, with Garfield with lasagna. You know, people think that's all he does, but really, it's just like a trademark. Okay, here's a, here's a Sunday one. She she says in the there's a panel where she said uh, she's on the phone and the phone says horrifying, isn't it? Oops, honk honk, and she responds. And it's in all big letter, uh, big letters, drawn out instead of just the the uh, typeface. Eck. So that's how that's mm. that's Kathy's deal. Good comic strip that Kathy. Not really. I'm not really the target's audience, so I don't I don't care that much about it. Lisa, you're a woman. <laughs> I I like you Kathy read Kathy. I've not read Kathy, but I like the character design, and I like that she has issues. Yeah, exactly. Kathy, Kathy's a classic. Kathy's like act, act, act. She's a. It's yeah. It's a classic. Um. Anyway, it's like Dilbert, but good. Oh. <laughs> and not like Dilbert. Um, nothing like Gil- Dilbert. So in panel Gilbert. one of four here in today's Mister Boop Endgame, we see uh. Philip DeFranco mm-hmm. walking Philly along D. with Kathy from the comic strip Kathy. She's here. She's in Mr. Boop. Oh my god, we were just talking about her. We were just talking about her. We, we were. Philly D uh, says, this is the flapper shot, I guess. Philly D's looking over at Kathy she says, as she says, I guess I'm just attracted to people who want to hurt me. And Kathy, Damn. Kathy's smiling in her sort of her usual sort of Kathy way. He did a good job drawing Kathy. Like he's, she's got the yeah. classic Kathy type of like smile. He didn't he didn't just draw the 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 mouth in a way he would. Like he's he's actually trying to copy Kathy mm-hmm. mouth he's designs, which are yeah. part of her trademark, I think. Um. So what is what does Kathy respond, Lisa? She says, "No, girl, that makes sense. That's hot. Hot is, hot underlined. is underlined. Yeah. Um, this is how we know this is not Kathy because because uh, 
just sounds nothing like Kathy. And I, 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 Kathy would Kathy wouldn't say that. I don't know. Maybe Kathy would say something like that. I don't actually know about Kathy that well. I think she. Panel two is a close up of Kathy. She's doing a talkie. And she yeah, looks. Um, she... What is this expression? Kathy's Smart. wearing a blazer. She's, She's got a, a purse over slung over her shoulder. A little little beaded necklace, two two earrings, and two like little bead earrings, and um, re- really ex- uh, expressive eyelashes, more so than usual. She's like wearing mascara. She looks sinister. She's putting on a very yeah determined and determined. It's I don't know. It, it's not really like it is. It does look determined, but it's not really giving that sort of. She's flirtatious. It's 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 uh, there's definitely a word for it. It, it, it it's flirtatious. He's no, not flirtatious. flirtatious. It's not flirtatious. It is that is sinful. that's what I'm Yeah, sinful. I don't know. There's there's a speech bubble coming from the le- from off from the left from Philly D uh, who says it is hot uh, and is is in all caps and underlined. And what does Kathy respond? Now me, I like oh, getting jokes. <laughs> I'll read this because I love it. Electoral heart. Because after... I fucking, mm-hmm. I agree wholeheartedly with this sentiment. I you love it in. when a man gets jacked to the gills, five times my size, puts his meaty, sweaty hands around my throat and squeezes down till it all goes dark. I like that you did my Kathy voice. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Kathy to. says in panel three. It's it's yeah. so she's like on the other side of the panel, but it's still the same type of close up. But she's on the other side, uh, and she's got her hand to her throat, uh, kind of like miming it, and there's sweat running down her face. Her her tongue is hanging out, uh, and she she looks like weary. She's blushing. She's she's getting. Hot and now bothered, this is, I guess. This is a, this is a really it, clever it, yeah. one. What this is, is really clever, clever about one. this? Oh, well, because well, oh, because, like because in panel right, four, it. it all goes yeah. dark. Yeah, and in As panel has four, been. if this was a cat, if this was a pat, if this was a cafe strip, panel four would her be saying "ack ack ack" no, as if wouldn't. she was getting choked. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, but the joke is that "ack ack ack" is the sound you make when you choke, and that's why Kathy's um, talking about it. I'm not that's sure you put that much thought into it. No, that is did. clever. I that's, don't think. That's, yeah. That's, All right. That's what is the shadow synopsis? The does he does he comment upon this? It's not important to note, but I drew this about ten minutes after I finished watching Munich, two thousand five. I let myself process the film's treaties and its Israeli slash Palestine conflict from no more than ten minutes, ten earthly minutes, and then immediately sat down and drew Kathy waxing poetic about getting sexually choked out. Poetic. Poetic. Um, I don't think he, he, I don't think he really was thinking about no, that's obviously Kathy the joke. with her catchphrase. That's not, what's the joke? If, if that's, the joke if is that's that it's joke, the comic strip character Kathy talking about how she likes yeah, being nothing. choked in bed. The, uh, my version actually has a punchline. This is, that's just nothing. It, that's how a lot of the strips are. Yeah, but this one. Adam. I, I think it's giving him way too much credit, but it is, I, 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 I agree. It's very clever. I don't think it was intentional. Adam, help us out. Yes. Do you think this um, was intentional? Yeah, I do actually. I I, yeah. I think Kathy would say "ack." I mean, that's. You think it was a play on know. the fact that she says "ack"? That's why she likes being choked. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it makes sense. It does make sense. I don't, uh, but I don't think it. You don't he think he thought you of it. You think Alec is smart. You don't think Alec is smart. I don't he think he thought of it. I didn't think of it. We, we have, I don't I think it's. I, mean, it's, I don't think dumb. it's like. I think it's it because it, here's the thing. If it is the case that 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 he meant this to be a joke, I think it's more of a subtext. I don't think it's literally like the joke. Well, yeah, but sometimes the subtext is the joke. Well, most and it's, it does. I guess it doesn't really follow Alex like general brand of humor. Like yeah, because he doesn't make Alex doesn't make jokes. Actually, he does like, sometimes. He does, he does no. sometimes. I, I I don't like, think it's impossible that he thought of it. I just yeah, his jokes are usually more 
um apparent like when he makes a joke it's 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 usually pretty like obvious that he's making a joke i guess are, where are you where is this uh is there alt text behind oh, every no, one that's, of these scripts? that's on the um that's on the patreon yeah there used to be like on the twitter uh. but um now it's usually just on Patreon because he didn't want, he didn't want, want he didn't want to write two of them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um, Fair enough. I like seeing Kathy. That's fun. Have you Kathy have you guys seen under Munich? underrated these days? You seen the Steven Spielberg movie Munich? No, I thought you were going to say have, have I seen Steven Universe? No. no. Steven have U- you, Steven have Universe. A... <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> have you seen the historical drama? Munich? No. Oh. No, I asked Adam. Um, I have not. No, me neither. I guess Alec is the only person relevant. Maybe we should have uh, watched in preparation. <laughs> I didn't know yeah. he I didn't know he was going to comment upon it. <laughs> we could have done a whole bonus episode about the Steven Spielberg movie Munich. Oh, well. Yeah. Not going to happen. Sorry, Alec. Um, I don't the, know why uh, I said it like that. Yeah. but <laughs> Sorry. Well... You've been listening to Being Mr. Roop, from the people who brought you cartoon all-stars to the rescue. You can visit the show's website at www.beingmrroop.com for our full catalog of episodes and a sign up to host a podcast, like Adam here did. Uh, Hi, Adam. Updates follow at Mr. Roop Pod on Twitter. Adam, do you have anything to promote? Yeah, I guess uh, my band Ghost Bomber just put out a, a single... A couple of like a month or two ago. What's it called? Um, so if you're into if you're into Christian music, oh boy, check it out. It's What's what the, the kids called? are about these days. The Being Mr. Roop theme no. song definitely one of the more one of the more Christian podcast theme songs there is. I've seen. Is this some? Um, is this oh, Ultimate yeah. Jesus? Yes. 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 It is. yes. Looks good. What do you? Uh, what, what's Our your whole role? Band had sort of a change of heart. So you've heard it. What? No, I haven't heard it. I've just looked it up now. What's What's your role in the song? I also see it's eight minutes long. Um, uh, it's I I, pro- I produced and recorded and um, contributed lyrics and vocals oh, nice. and keyboards. Nice. To this. Sick. Well, if you want right. to hear, everyone check out numbers. Adam's <laughs> band and his band camp and his uh, summer camp where. where where he, uh, I forget what the word is for, for taking care of a summer camp. He counsels. Yeah, counsel. He counsels. I can't. <laughs> he consoles. <laughs> check out the camp where he consoles. Um, and check out Lisa's band camp. And yeah, I don't have a band camp. Wait, well, Lisa, what's your band camp called? It's Lisa Doop. Lisa Doop on band camp. And, uh, I don't know what the equivalent of, oh, check out my SoundCloud. SoundCloud? Do you have a sound? Yeah. Check out my SoundCloud. Ri-Fi? Hang on. Ri-Fi dash 822767436. That's my, <laughs> that's my SoundCloud. Sorry. I have some mashups on there. They're not very good. Okay. Do you have, wait, um, Adam, do you have a, um, self-titled album? With Ghost Bomber? Myself? No, Ghost Bomber. Oh, yeah, we do have a self titled yeah, album. Nice. I was just looking on the bank, yeah. and I was like, is this an EP or is this. Is Check thing? it out. Thank you and good night. Check it, Check it all out. Thank you and good night. Thank you and good night. <laughs> This podcast was brought to you by the Pitch Drop Podcast Network. Like what you just heard? Support the show by going to patreon.com forward slash pitch drop. And while you're at it, check out pitchdrop.net for more of this and other shows.